Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. In this video, I will show you how can we do a HR request from our raw TypeScript code to web API. This video is intended to support this blog post. You can see the code chemist and this is the episode 2. So I will just create a video if you don't have time to read the whole blog. Let's let's get started. File new project. We will create a web API application. Just uh, put the name as it is and press OK. And web API yes. Don't do the authentication and others. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I'm not using the empty because uh, in that case I need to again install my other libraries web API libraries sometimes it may cause some problems in the coding so I prefer to use the web API template as usual and remove the other folders this is my own personal preference okay so let's delete those Number one, let's delete the areas, delete, delete, then let's delete the home, delete, delete, and last, delete the views, delete, delete. Okay, so let's save it, Build, rebuild one. and let's run the application and check whether we can get the values or not slash api slash values okay so this is coming from xml we don't need xml we want json let's go to the web page config and here i will just add config dot formatters I'm clearing everything and then config dot formatters dot add okay so good enough uh, I don't want to again again run the application so I'm just using the start without debugging mode so that I will just refresh the page and it will again reload the whole application I don't need to run the F5 again and again so it is coming as array in JSON format next I will just create a folder for me let's name it app also I need to add uh, HTML okay I'll just copy the codes because I already have copied those so let's go to the index page this this code is self-explanatory and um, nothing special here so sorry okay now it is not showing that we don't have any app.js just create right click add typescript .ts. yes Now it is not complaining it is happy in here I will create my class so class my timer I will just raw code here so that I can describe what I'm doing and you also can see the intelligence now I'm having while I write the TypeScript script code 
So if I write CTOR, it's giving the constructor, and I'm going to specify HTML element. Now this dot element equals to parameter element, and this dot span uh, equals to document dot create element. Yes. So you can see there are a lot of uh, tag names I can put here. Sp and span. And last. Just Ishaver is doing the magic here. It is the public declaration. If I want to do it public, I will just write private span HTML element. It is also happy. It's private, but I'm just deleting the private word. Now if I write this dot element dot, you can see there are a whole bunch of methods and properties I'm seeing. So I will use the append child method and I will add this dot span. Sp I will add the span into the HTML element. What we will pass from the constructor. Now I will create a method. And it is not, it doesn't have any uh, return type and it is not taking any parameter. And uh, there is a uh, cryptic thing, this is called th this equals to uh, self equals to this. I will describe in, uh, in later uh, videos or later blog post why should we do this. Just follow me. Set interval is a method which will be called after certain period of time. So the first thing you can see here is a handler. It is a function. So let's write the function. Uh, not taking anything. And the second thing is parameter in milliseconds. Now it is happy. Here we will create the XML HTTP request object and then call send. So how can we do that? Very easy. var HTTP equals to new XML HTTP request and we will configure this HTTP with open. This is the method that means get or post or others HTTP request type and it has the URL. So in our case, I will just copy this. And HTTP dot onload. So this is the event. So it will be fired function done. And HTTP dot send. Okay, so what will we do after the send request is received, is done, will be right in here. So done dot sr source element. Uh, we know it is a response type and it has the element called source element and It's the mm, R, suppose. But since we are doing the TypeScript thing, we will specify the type also. XML HTTP request. And since in the left side, we are having the tightly coupled thing, so we have to cast it. Cast to any. And then just write R dot, you can see the whole properties and the methods of that uh, variable. So we will use the response okay 
now just self dot spam dot inner html equals to response build succeed let's refresh it what's the problem Sorry, my apologies. Uh, it will not fire because we didn't have any write. We didn't write any uh, onload event code. So we will write just window dot onload, and it is the event. So we will create a function here, and it will not work. Document dot get element by ID, which ID we want? Content. See, the intelligence is very smart now because we have a content ID here and it is getting that content in that TS file. And we will create a new my timer and we will pass the element and we will create a variable and we will call the public function here it is now it's good so it will create the DOM element it will create the timer timer will start save rebuild and refresh okay so let's it's great so it is coming from the server now the last thing I need to add uh, suppose just removing the whole thing add controller I will add my timer controller and here I will just create string get return coming from server detail dot now okay and and in the Rebuild it. Rebuild succeed. Not yet. Yes, succeed. Let's go here. Refresh it. Okay. So every two seconds it is calling. So thus we can easily understand how can we create the XHR HTTP request using the raw TypeScript code. So thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and uh, look an eye in my blog. I will be writing uh, regularly here, inshallah. Thanks for watching, assalamu alaikum.